YouTube. This your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue and it is officially the first episode of BBQ time. What does that stand for? Basic barbecue question time, right? So without further ado, let's get started. I don't want to make this video too long since it's the first one and it's an intro. Um, got a couple questions here uh, from some of our subscribers out there. First one is, what can you expect from BBQ time? Well, to be honest with you, I want to make this where I shoot these videos uh, periodically, and I, I, I do anything from answer people's questions to, um, if you saw one of my earlier videos where I was at the Florida Georgia game, uh, I had a couple of reviews on people's grills. So if you want me to uh, do a review on your grill, send it in, and I'll put it on my BBQ time, one of the episodes. Um, I talk about, like I said, quality of grills. I talk about grill smokers. I talk about how to make seasoning, doing it yourself. Um, how to season meat, how long you cook different meats. I talk about anything on here, man. Um, but yeah, that's my real reason for starting this BBQ time. Um, like I said, if you have any videos, pictures of your grill, send them to me and I'll do a review on them. And, and post them in the future. All right, next question. How did I get started barbecuing? Well, to be honest with you, I was one of those kids that, you know, when I was young, you had to stay outside all day till the light came on. So what we did for fun is get in trouble, go in the woods, um, not knowing anything about snakes and stuff like that. Crazy, right? I'm scared of snakes now, but when I was a kid, wasn't even thinking about snakes. Alligators, things like that in Georgia. Um, but yeah, we grew up, man, just firing up the grill, no utensils, um, just putting meat on there, no seasoning, just messing around, flipping over, and that would be considered our, our, our uh, burger or whatnot. So yeah, that's how I got started as a kid, man, just messing around. Uh, let's see, next question. How often do I post videos? Honestly, I try to post videos twice a week, every Wednesday and every Sunday. Uh, sometimes I forget. I need to set an alarm on my, or alert on my calendar on my new, my new iPhone, you know, um, get my money out of it. So I probably set an alert up that. So I try not to uh, let you guys down with the expectations. Like I said, every Wednesday, and every Sunday, just depends on how many videos I have. It's coming up on uh, Thanksgiving, so you know um, I'm big about put, posting more videos. Some videos before others, like I just did the uh, the turkey brine, and then a turkey that just makes sense right before Thanksgiving to give you guys that. It make no sense to to post it afterwards, and you know somebody already cooked the turkey and messed it up for their family. So I try to hook you guys up in the time, the manner, in reference to that. So that's my plan. I would like to do a BBQ time uh, episode maybe once a week, maybe every Wednesday, and then do a cook on Sunday. Um, that'll be my plan for the future to try to do it that way. So be on the lookout for those. Like I said, every Wednesday and every Sunday, I try my best to get a video out there to you guys. Um, let's see here. Next question. Got two more questions here. What type of grills and smokers do I use? That's a good question. I currently have right now, I'm using the uh, Shirley Fabrication Smoker. I call it Big Bertha. Um, that's 24 by 60 uh, modified. I think it's a 53 inch trailer from, from tire to tire, um, width wise, um, just because I keep it in my garage and uh, you know I want to minimize the amount of space that I use. I use a Weber kettle grill, um, the small, I think it's a 22 and a half inch one. You may have seen in some of my videos, and then I use a Smoky Mountain Weber which is once again another smoker that I use that if you're just plain lazy or you're just tired and want to do long cooks like uh, brisket is a good one, uh, pork shoulder, making pulled pork, uh, long cooks, you can even do ribs on now and you're just lazy and don't like to uh, uh, go out and check the grill at prescribed times then I, the, kit, the kits I use are kits, the grills, the smokers I use, you can actually do that. So, hey. Uh, let's see here. last question how much does a Shirley fabrication smoker cost and what is the expected cost of the other grills you use that's the last question good question 
Let's talk about the other grill before I get on the Shirley Fab. So the Weber Kettle Grill, I got spent about $150 on that one. Just because it has the removable uh, ashtray at the bottom. I think you can get the same one with the ashtray that's just like a little pan at the bottom for like 100 bucks. So honestly, unless it's windy in your area, just spend 100 bucks and get the one with the little pan. You know, you can just take it off and dump it at the end of the day. It don't make no sense to get the removable pan unless you just buy it for looks. Or it's windy as hell in your, your neighborhood. Um, the Smoky Mountain Weber I have, which is a stand-up vertical uh, smoker. The cost of it is, they got two models. They got the 18 inch and they have a 22 inch one. Um, I highly recommend getting the 22 inch one just because it's bigger. And if you're cooking ribs, you know, you, you, you don't have to fold your ribs up at the end. I personally have the 18 and a half inch one. And if I'm cooking like a slab of baby backs or, or, or St. Louis uh, cut ribs, you have to fold the ends up just a little bit until the heat hits it and then they'll shrink up just because of the width or the circumference, the circle or whatnot. Um, the Shirley Fab Grill. How much did it cost? I'm gonna be honest with you, right? When you're dealing with uh, Tyler and Paul at Shirley Fab, they don't really discuss prices. You know, they, they ask you not, you know, not to really disclose the price you paid. Um, so I don't really tell people what I paid for mine. I will tell you this though, every grill they make, every grill or smoker they make is customized. They have basic prices and then once you start to add things on, that's when your prices are, uh, continue to go up. So just keep that in mind, like when you're looking up a Shirley Fab. So don't expect me to tell you the prices on here, just out of, you know, um, me being, uh, you know, in agreement with them that I would discuss, you know, or disclose how much I paid for it. It's gonna cost you some money, I'll just tell you that. Don't come in with a hundred bucks thinking you're gonna ride out with a Shirley Fabrication smoker. Or you'll be disappointed. And, on another note, the waiting line is long as heck. Unless you're lucky enough to get one that they just uh, have extra on site like they did. I think they posted on their Facebook um, about a week or two ago saying, hey, I got an extra one that's ready to go. Hey, make me an offer. So unless you get lucky like that, you'll probably be waiting about eight to 10 months now. So uh, if you undecided, go ahead and send them the 300 bucks, man, just to get your, get your place in line. Beside the council, I mean, that's between you and them on whether you get your refund or not. But just to get that place in line, 300 bucks. Um, so yeah, feel free to hit me up with any questions you have. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing more videos with actual products and stuff like that that I have around the house. And then go from there. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll let your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Peace.